Bully and the Beast Podcast. Bully and the Beast Podcast. Yo. I'm L'Oreal. It's Wax. What's good with y'all? Um, I'm just really excited because I heard we have some really good voicemails. Dope. And, um... Okay, so y'all continue to call in and leave your voicemails. What's yes. the number, Wax? 347-679-6118. Okay, so y'all could do all that good stuff, and let's get into it. Let's go. All right, but in the beast, I need, um, I need some real advice on some real shit. Um, so I've I'm, I'm been dealing with this girl for like two, three years. You know, she recently had a baby. Well, not recently. He's one, he one years old now. But, um... She cheated on me and got pregnant by another man, so the so the baby not mine. But when he got her pregnant, he left her alone and he ended up going to jail for murder. So he had a lifetime sentence. So I've been in you know, around the baby the whole time it's been in the world. But we um broke up and it's like, um I don't know if I should stay in the baby life as a father figure or I should just say like if I'm not with her I'm not with him either but I mean I'm thinking like that's not my baby anyway and like um like but that's not cool to just have no no little boy out here fatherless you know what I mean and I, I know I know what single mothers go through I was raised by one so it's like should I just be a stand up nigga and just stay in the baby life, you know, raise it as if it was mine, but it's not. Or should I just say fuck it and let it play out however it play out? Let me know something. Me- All right, so my problem with this is I need to know the age yes, of the kid. Yes, have to. That's very important. And how long he been in the kid's life. Yeah, That's well, he said since, the, since it was born into the world. Yeah, but yeah, how old is he? That's, that's the thing. Yes. How old is the kid? That's all we need to know. Yeah. This fucking sucks because that's what I want to know. I and I feel like that. I can't give advice until I know that. I right, like, let's say the kid is under five and over five. Let's just. Under five, you could beat it. Get out of here. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Over five, you've been in this life for like four or five years. Uh, if this kid is old enough to remember you, you got to stay in this yeah, kid's life. Yeah, be like one of the old coaches and stuff like that. Like Uncle. I, yeah, that's it. Just say it's just uncle. uncle. You know what I mean? He know you was fucking his mom anyway unless I was fucking in front of him. He don't really know. And then I, you think he's older? Why? He said the guy got a life sentence. Yes. But excuse me. Excuse me. I, I, did you hear How take dare that? Take you? That? I didn't hear it. <laughs> Excuse, she just grabbed it too. No. Excuse me, do you hear she something? Just, no. I hear, is that the voicemail? God? Oh, oh. Really got people in my DM saying that. They're in my two saying it. So I was going to say, if she was already pregnant, well, she was, no, yeah. No, T. Diddy. No, no, no. The baby's already out when he met her. And, the ba- and so the baby is probably maybe under five. They've been I'm together. I'm assuming under five. Yes, because they've been together. She, he, he got cheated on with the, the uh, murderer. I'm saying they was cheating. <laughs> with the murderer. Yeah, the murderer. He got didn't want to get killed, so he went away. Yes. And then when the guy went to jail, he came back. Exactly. But she was pregnant he already. a bitch ass nigga. But. Well, he's not a bitch. Yeah, he's he doing. Kind of guy, I think, I think that what he's even saying is kind of like. You know, that it, it takes a man to even feel the way he's feeling because it's a lot of guys that would have just been like, fuck that bitch and her son. But yeah. the fact that he's even thinking about it. But I wonder if he that can stand good. her. Can Listen, he stand the mother? The, the pussy good. He, he, the other guy could beat the shit out of him. That's why he took his girl from him. And no, that's he could kill him. He's a murderer. Yeah, he's a murderer. He, he must have knew that about this guy because he just like let this guy take her take his girl get her pregnant and then leave and now he taking care and of now he taking good you a bitch ass <laughs> now nah, listen bro. if you don't take care of that baby that nigga gonna kill you when he fuck get you out up. that's his nigga kid <laughs> no but really i think um you can always be uncle whatever your name yeah, is yeah godfather you know what i'm saying that's it you yeah. come to the graduations the birthdays you just buy care. him something yeah, here you and can't there can't care who that other girl's fucking though I mean, it, it's not your responsibility is what, what the real problem boils down to because at the end of the day, she chose to have a baby with that man. She left you for that man and that's her responsibility to raise her child. I say that to say because he said, I know how hard it is out here for a single yeah, mom, but that, that don't have nothing to do with him. <laughs> Shit, you want to save everybody? 
Yeah, everybody who had a single mom, you want to save all the single moms? All right, brother. And not only that, I feel like once you get into another relationship with the next woman, say it don't work. Now you're going to adopt her son too. Now yeah, you're going to have like come a on, bro. save the children yeah. commercial. Well, unless he could go ahead and like go get a camp, <laughs> YMCA. If you want to save all the kids, that's possible. Go ahead He's and do that. He's probably attached to this kid at this point I as well. It. I definitely get it though. But like after a while, you're not fucking with her. It's going to fade off. You're not going to really see the kid. What if she moves? Like, are you going to yeah. try? Travels over states, and I'm sure she'll get some kid. other dick. If she gets some other dick, that dude wants that. That nigga gonna you look at you saying? like a nigga. If you don't get the get fuck, the out, fuck of here, out of here, Uncle My nigga. Ass. Yeah, all right. No, yeah. yeah. I think you just got to play this by ear. I feel like we gave you enough answers for different scenarios. Especially when it's not knowing how long you've been in the kid's life. Now, That's you've a been big like, thing. I've been there for two years. After that, motherfucker, don't remember you. If that nigga is ten, that's your son. That's your boy. <laughs> that's, that's your, your boy. Don't even tell him about the murderer. That's nah, you ain't got to even talk to. <laughs> about that nigga you know he's saying? Snoop you Jody <laughs> <laughs> so just yeah. know right okay yeah, you good next voicemail please go get a YMCA Take nigga go be big brother go get a daycare no <laughs> <laughs> Tasha on power oh you don't watch um, power no nah, I never seen um, my name is Benita sounds fake um, Benita Applebaum I wanted some advice um okay are you high i have crack is it crack you smoke i was diagnosed with oh oops oops what the what called devic disease okay and it's something like ms but it's just a little more severe oh my god and we were saying all that um, evil stuff i'm I'm sorry i'm sorry um I lost my eyesight as well. So L'Oreal. I didn't know. So me. You said she went to drugs. <laughs> I said crack. And me and my kid's father are currently living in the same apartment together. And we've been together for um, about seven years okay and in that there's been some problems i think <laughs> sure i'm not laughing a little depressed <laughs> yeah and so now he's acting a little funny he's not the same when we first got together we were like good we were really really tight and close for a long time and after a while everything just kind of went downhill he doesn't see what i'm talking about you don't see it either little things like you know did you just say you don't see it either because she don't we only had to see no more so i don't feel like being depressed all right <laughs> Wax, I'm, what? Just, I'm, I'm sorry i it's mean wrong it, with we you. know that we have to pray for her she need prayer this um, I, and again, I want to know if she, did she have the disease and was she blind before they, when they got together in the seven years? We need to know that. So you think that he's I don't acting think he like that because she's sick? Yeah, she, yeah, he's depressed too. Like I get mad if my fucking shorty toe get fucked up. If she bang her toe in a motherfucking in a, on a dresser or something, baby, we gotta talk about this relationship because this shit is not going to work out like that with your toe fucked up. And this one right here is blind, so, you know, it's kind of like, ouch, bro. I mean, it's a good relationship because, you know what, he can't get away with a lot. She can't see shit. Never got to worry about going through his phone. I don't even know if I could do no more this part. <laughs> you got to, I'm throwing you the alley. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not laughing at this, but, bro, I wish I could talk to him because it's like, yo, your, bro, your, your shorty can't fucking see. She kind of sick, so you let her in the bed, make sure she good. She can't even see what the fuck you're doing. You could go fuck girls in the living room. She's not dumb. Like she still could hear and fucking feel. Like I don't. I don't she know. She can't see nothing though. Well, obviously she sees something's wrong with this motherfucking relationship, so she could see enough. She got kids, all of oh, that. Oh yeah, I know, bro. Like she, she ain't. But is she a scumbag though? I mean, obviously, because she's already going through enough. Like I feel like if you couldn't handle this situation, then. 
like you said, I don't know if it happened before or after, but if you couldn't handle this situation, then you shouldn't have never put yourself or her in it. Yeah. So Don't get um, her pregnant, bro. And if it was after, it's kind of like if you love somebody like, and they get sick, have and you leave them and stop fucking with them or you start acting funny, you just a piece of shit. You because are. at the end of the day, you love somebody. It's supposed to be just like marriage, thick and thin, mm-hmm. all that good stuff. I know it ain't going to be easy. I'm not sitting here saying like... What's the vows? What's the vows? Um, you the should sick, know. Yeah, from, through sick and poor. Through, through sickness and health. The sickness and health, through poorness. Through death do its through, part. Through death do its part. Yeah. Yeah. So come on, buddy. For better, for worse. Bro, take advantage because you can't see, bro. You can cheat. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come so on, listen. Ignorant. Listen, it's hard for me to have sex with girls when their fucking stomach hurt. You know, you know what I'm saying? When girls are like, oh my stomach hurt. This sounds like more than a stomach ache. I wish one of them shit on your ass. <laughs> you never know. If I keep on going, she said my stomach hurt. It gotta be easy. But this sounds a little bit more than this fucking stomach ache that she has. Uh, yeah, she fucking All right, then, has I- something similar to MS and she's lost her eyesight. I think that's worse than a stomach that, ache. That's class. what I'm trying to say. So you nailed I, I, it. I, I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> sit there and have sex with the girls or a stomach hurt. I'd be like, you know what, baby, stomach hurt. We out the way. If she got all this shit going on, she can't fuck. This man is depressed. He's fucked up. Like, what do you? What is he actually doing? Is he expressing that you? I'm frustrated. I can't have sex with you. Uh, you can't give me head. Ah, do, do we have to do this? <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking her giving head, and she can't see like. I kind of don't want There's that either. There's people that, Stevie Wonder has kids. That nigga been blind his. Them girls, Stevie Wonder also got that check too. Them girls ain't dumb. Every single she one She ain't say girls. she was broke. If she complaining, she broke. Because she, she get any nigga. She's, she's just like Stevie. She's complaining. Look at Flavor Flav. Because the guy that she's been with for all these years is acting fucked up. Yo, if my leg gets right, so cut say, off. Say that there's nothing wrong as far as like he knew what she, the sickness she had before. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So now what's the advice? Um, Everybody get cheated on, girl. Girls who's beautiful get cheated on. Girls who are amazing, great woman and Finally, all that type of stuff. Finally, he said something that matters. Yeah, but girls get cheated on every day. So I know that you got the disease. He's supposed to not do that. But come on, baby. Like you're still a girl. You don't want to be a girl? She don't want to be a girl? Yeah, yeah, I think I think with that, she like, it sound like she could have sex. I don't want that. I hear something in there that I could agree with. You can't use unless it happened after, and that's what. Yeah. But don't use your situation, your health, as the reason why something's going on. If it ain't that, you get what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Like basically, like I don't want to say the word pity. But pity sex. I mean, pity. You head. get what I'm trying to say. I no, think I if it. anything, it sh- it should be like this is he's acting funny because this is that and the third yeah. or whatever. Maybe it's because she's sick. You get what I'm trying yeah, to that's say. That's kind of hard, man. Because even if a, a shorty I had like somebody was like, I got a yeast infection. Like I'm not all into that. I know this this whatever she has is more than a yeast infection. If I ain't trying to fuck the yeast infection, I ain't trying to fuck blind. I just what. <laughs> I'm just saying what is, what is what is the I stops I feel like I can't even why am I laughing at because this? listen she already sound like she like uh, you know what I'm saying I'm that's like, the that's the that's disease. disease that's her helping her that's yeah. what I'm saying hurting her but it's like do I want to how can I get hard off that that's not sexy like things gotta make me sexy like she not walking around the house with that nice lingerie thong and something when I come in the house I'm like damn I'm about to bust her she ass she could wear quick. a thong why not she can't see how to put them on shut up wax <laughs> go go to next <laughs> no, no. I just got in a wish, no. like, why? Lord have mercy, it's Sunday. I didn't even go to church. It's Monday, thank you. It is? I can smoke. Don't do me like that. Bye, wax. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you always tune in on a Monday when we drop our episode. Yes, who's on drugs? You, exactly. obviously. Pass the blunt, baby. <laughs> All right, Wax, before we get into all that other stuff, because you're a psycho. Me? Yeah, let's talk about HelloFresh. Did you receive your HelloFresh package? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you cook it? Tried to. I suck still, but. Oh, my God. It's so easy. What's wrong Mm -hmm. with you? I'm Wax. So it's America's number one meal kit. 
So you'll get easy seasonal recipes mm-hmm. and pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. Right. So all you have to do is cook and enjoy. Mm-hmm. Don't please, not like wax though. You know, do it the right way. I don't believe he even read the instructions. Nope. HelloFresh makes cooking delicious meals at home a reality, regardless of your comfort in the kitchen. Yeah, because I suck in the kitchen, and I was able to do it. So you could definitely do it. Did you make it your way? Definitely made my way. Put a little bit of herbs in there. Just oh, Lord. <laughs> There's step-by-step recipes to pre-measure ingredients. HelloFresh gives you everything you need to get a wow-worthy dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. Perfect. So you can finally say goodbye to endless grocery store trips nice. and take out food. You know they be eating your food anyway, the delivery people. Oh, for sure. You ain't see that all one in four? All my fries. All my fries usually always halfway. <laughs> and it be cold. And they got a straw in my shit. What yeah. you doing straw in my fucking drink get that it's they better. put a straw in your drink yeah. sometimes i order drink and they don't even send a straw but anyway hello fresh is nothing like that they offer something for everyone from family recipes mm-hmm. to calorie smart and vegetarian and nice. even pescatarian like me Ooh. that's what i am and fun menu series like hall of fame and craft burgers you love burgers anyway yes. i don't like that you're a pesto <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> pesca. Oh. Okay. Wow. Great. Pesta. Pe- oh, you're a pesta, Terry. Pesta. <laughs> I thought you was like a pesk. Oh, but Lord. I, yeah, you know what? I love this stuff. Okay, well, all of that with HelloFresh is so flexible. You can easily change your delivery dates, your food okay. preference, and skip a week whenever you need. Oh, I like this because I'm always on the road. Both of us, we always on the road, so we definitely need that. That's right. You can even add extra meals to your weekly order as well as yummy add-ons like garlic bread yeah. and cookie dough. So oh, you got yeah. dessert as well. Nice. And my friends always want to come over and eat all my food. So mm-hmm. I like to get HelloFresh. So I'll, I'll it's get. great for the munchies. Yeah, I get like the four four people so I can make a little extra because they okay. like to come over and eat all my food. They missed out fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does like that have miss, to do with anything? It's like a missed out fire meal. It's like missed out fire. She went and got all the fucking. Um, she ordered food and then put it in the pot so when they came home, they think this motherfucker's cooking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but actually you do cook it. They just give you the ingredients. So nice. you can go to HelloFresh.com slash Bully80 and enter code Bully80. That's like receiving eight meals free. When nice. you go to HelloFresh.com slash Bully80 and enter Bully80, B-U-L-L-Y-8-0. Nice. So that's for $80 off. So, so go amazing. ahead. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't it? That's motherfucker two eighths. Oh gosh! So go ahead <laughs> and go get your discount right now. Hot. Now back to our show. Let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about Amber Geiger. Do you know who that is? No. Okay, so basically that's the woman. You know who it is. Everybody has heard this story. She was a Dallas oh. police officer. Oh, the, the right. white bitch. She was... broke into, basically walked into somebody else's home, I'll say, and she murdered Botham Jean, is his name, um, t- in cold blood. He was eating a bowl of ice cream. She said she thought it was her apartment and it was actually his. It was a floor apart. So she went up one floor too much. I think she was supposed to be on the third floor and this happened on the fourth or vice versa. It definitely was fucking. It definitely so was fucking. So they went through her text messages. They found out that she was fucking her partner who was married or nice. somebody that works at the station or That's whatever. What does. But um, they didn't find anything saying that she knew Botham at all. Both them. Sorry, I said. I'm saying, listen, paperwork is a motherfucker. And, and when you when in, in the law, like the cops and stuff, I'm sure you get shit erased and, and all that type of shit. The way it seems like they was fucking and like, she, why was his door unlocked, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like your door is unlocked. Every time I go in somebody else's crib and I lock the door behind me, like, hey, I don't know. You never fuck. forgot to lock your door before? Um, I got to come in the house and take a shit real fast. I'm going to throw everything down and, you know what I'm saying, I got to piss real quick, maybe. But all the, other than that, even if I go in somebody else's crib, I'm always locking the door. I'm always, I'm that type of guy. I always think something about to happen, so. So I'm like that too, but I'll say three times in the past six months because the way that my building is, you need a fob on your door. Peace. So like, you, there's no key. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
I forgot to lock it, leaving out once and twice when I walked in the house. And usually I don't do that. But like one day I was so mad at myself. Like I was like, no, I left my door unlocked. Was I, she in there? But I was so, maybe. <laughs> shit. Stupid but shit. no, I was going through my closet, everything, making yeah. sure nobody wasn't hiding in my shit. I do that or, all the time. I go in the house anyway. As soon as I go in the house after I like piss or whatever, I like going to the bed. I look in the closet anyway. I don't trust shit. But let me tell you something. I sent you another story with the guy Adam that's the promoter out here in New York Fucking and he did the hilarious. same thing the woman her door was unlocked as well one thing sometimes you're drunk no no no, no. I, don't, don't, I really don't you know don't the drink. whole story of course not but I don't know we're the whole jumping story. around guys and we're yes. gonna get back to talking we're about uh, bitch. this bitch yes but um, Adam is a promoter he uh, <laughs> we know him for years he, we know him for years he's a manager he's managed like what ASAP Rocky yeah, Young Thug all kind of people mm-hmm. and if you ever been to a club in New York in a certain period of time you know this guy you he's probably sure. shut you down from yes. getting in the clubs well guess what y'all y'all got the last laugh this you don't man, wear socks no that's not what it was no I'm saying oh, I'm about to shoes. say that's, that's nothing noticing. this man was breaking into this woman's apartment that lived underneath him sort of like this slut here that uh, got sentenced <laughs> to 10 years but um he was, uh, the girls was drunk, and he was going in and sneaking there, stealing their panties. Yo, Adam, I would never think that about so, you. So, uh, want me neither. This is so, <laughs> Adam, unreal. So then, I guess one day, she was fucked up, and she woke up, and he was, like, trying to hump her or some shit, and she was, yeah. Adam. So she called, the, she started screaming, fighting him off, and she called the police. This nigga locked himself in his apartment for two days. So then he tried to go Look down. The odor, right? Look, so they was, the police went up there, was waiting for him, knocking on the door, everything. The police sat downstairs and waited for that nigga. Good. One day passed, nigga still ain't come out, nothing. So next thing you know, he tried to go down the service elevator. The security nigga seen him uh-huh. and and called the police like, yo, he came out. Y'all, he had a flamingo cup, right? Yeah. And he was trying to run out and he threw the flamingo cup in the garbage. Couldn't have find out the fucking flamingo cup is that bitches. And it was stuffed <laughs> with it was stuffed with a bunch of dirty peonies. What the fuck? Yo, bro, I never All thought that about you. Yes. Family. Yes. You would never think this about this guy. I know he don't wear socks with his shoes, but I think <laughs> You know, I always look That's at That's a guys. serial killer. When you yeah. don't wear socks with your shoes. What the fuck are you doing with no socks You're either off, a rapist or a yes. serial killer. Yes, or you want corns sure. on your fucking toes, bro. No, your feet got to be disgusting. And smelling like a motherfucker. So that was him. White people do the darnest thing. Oh, my God. Because he's white. Yes. And, um, and so is this bitch his hair here. always fucked up. And they don't know how to stay out of people's apartments. Get out of people's shit. It don't matter if the door is locked or not locked, nigga. That's not your your fucking crib. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who just walks in? So you go walk in and get a fucking surprise one time. But then the person that shoots going to end up going to jail. So what does it matter? Adam, they might try to make an example out of you. If that bitch would have killed Adam and she was black, she would be in jail for the rest of her life. Definitely. But this bitch could walk in somebody else's crib and shoot him and come on in to jail for one day. Yeah, I, I don't like this bitch at all. So basically, she got sentenced to 10 years. I ain't, that's not enough for me. And but, um, she's up for parole or probation in five, which means she might only have to do five years of the 10. Or even less than that, maybe like three. If she do time serve and she do like good behavior, like they give her hugs and type of shit. Listen, y'all. Yeah. Well, she's not eligible for parole till five years. Okay, well, listen, I want y'all, if anything ever happened to me, I want y'all to wild the fuck out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know, funny you say that because her brother, I bought them bro- the chest, both yeah. them's brother. You seen everything? It went viral. He actually asked to have a hug with her. Now, do you have that just so we could play it? Because like, I'm was you and your see. brother? You know what? Me and I'm one of my brothers, and I'm I still don't know something. for years why my brother don't like me. I still don't know, but I hope even though he don't like me, don't get his bitch no hug who hit me up, bro. Me, Ho- me and my you sister like, ain't the best of friends, but... Yeah, I, I mean, at, at the end of the day, be like, my mom cried because of this situation, so fuck this bitch. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you don't like me, this dude hairline is too fucking sharp. That's I why thought I it a was a head. trick. Just fucking... Uh, maybe not. Girl say anything else, I think giving her life to Christ would be the best thing... She ain't giving her damn life to Christ. He's better than, than me. You, as a person... I don't wish anything bad 
call you. I do. <laughs> I do, bitch. I can't. I can't. I wish, they, I wish soon as you get in but that butch bitch go in there, making her pussy all day, smothering her dumb ass. Can I give her a hug, please? What you want to give her a hug for, you fucking bitch ass nigga? Please. Why? Because your shirt looked like that? I thought this was a trick. Uh, everything I love, I'm like, oh, he's about to look kill him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. That's what he should have done. I thought he was going to kill her in court. I saw this episode of Law and Order. Stop her. That pussy must be good as hell. The brother must have told the brother the pussy was so good. He like, all right, in five years, I can get that pussy. Nigga, you mean the police fucking pulled up on that nigga and said you want to end up like your brother? Saying that you need to go get that bitch a hug. Or, you know what? I heard that the um one of the witnesses exactly. got killed. So, you know what? They probably, that, that might be a reason why he went and got a hug. Like, they probably went in the back like, listen, if you talk any type of crazy I'm shit, trying to tell we're going to hit you up. Look at how When They See Us went, right? What's that? <laughs> All right. Ava DuVernay, Central Park Five. We talk about oh, it. Oh, the guys that was getting week. hit up. They was getting um, fucked. So look how that movie went when the cops had the kids in the back and they even said to the father, like, yo, don't you work at such and such? Mm -hmm. And they threatened him, like, these cops. And the mother even said, like, I don't live here. I don't give a fuck type shit. But y'all, I'm going to pray for y'all because this is a corrupt yeah, system y'all got going up. here. So if she's saying, what's she saying that for? Other than the fact that, okay, yes, we know this woman murdered her son. Yes. And, and like, whatever. But she's saying that for a reason. Other than that, I feel like. Do anybody know anything else about this guy that got killed? Because it's like, now that I'm seeing the other guy got killed, this bitch-ass nigga giving hugs because, like, he's scared and fucking shook for his life. And he got that dumb-ass shirt on I don't like. I mean, I don't, shit, if they would have, they could have killed him, too. That's what I'm trying to say. You should have killed him with that fucking shirt on. Stop. All right. You be having weird shirts on, too, so <laughs> stop it. Not today. Nigga got, nigga finally got a decent outfit on one time. I got you know? a white tee on. <laughs> what the fuck is no, that? No, I'm talking about the little fit. This is the first time I've seen a decent fit on this nigga, what right? Fuck it don't got no patches. It it's a fucking sweat. It's one color. I, I wouldn't even put the jacket on if it wasn't raining and cold. It, it don't really fit, but... I mean, it's not, it's not my fault that my guns and my back is um the way they is, but I mean, I just got a regular nah, white tee on. I just think you need a yeah. one size up, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, baby. But, um, but yeah, fuck that bitch. Fuck that she, bitch. Oh, so also, the judge, Tammy Kemp is her name or some shit like that. Tammy. Fuck you too, bitch. Damn, Tam. Now, we gonna say why. Now, she was endorsed by... Um, the Dallas Police Department mm. when they were going through elections. Peace. So you a police too. So you are try you are in a trial for a ex police officer. Obviously, should have been there. Come on, shouldn't have been there. Well, why are you there? Yeah, I don't care if you black or whatever the case may be. Everybody thought this you gonna try to bring justice like they be fucking us up for years. But you just dropped the ball, baby. Sometimes that blinds us. Like we be like, oh, there's a black person there and they're gonna make sure everything is fine nah, you know what they did they went back there and they talked to you like listen we're gonna put you in place look at this bitch why well, are that's you a lady her? yes i thought that was a man i'll just let me ask you a question you've been to jail before oops you went to court before sometimes did you ever get hugged by the judge? <laughs> Man, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hug. That motherfucker looked at me like, if you even say the wrong fucking word, I'm putting you to jail. Nigga, I done went for a traffic ticket and, and felt ready. like the fucking oh judge was going to fucking hem me up and throw me on the ground and arrest me. I don't know where the fuck the sympathy and compassion comes from. Do I get from. to murder a white woman because I went in the wrong fucking apartment? What the fuck are they going to do to me? Throw the book at you? You ain't see the shit where the, the dude killed the cop? The um, not the cop, the dog, the, the police canine, dog. yeah, the yeah, police dog. You get, that's, you get charged for, for how that. many years he got? It was something like twenty four years or some shit like that. And my dude's been getting hit up for years, and he's been selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Miss Lady, you like you kind of got off. Is that because your pussy good? You know what I'm saying? Because the who is the guy that she was fucking? Well, got to be like a head guy because she a police officer. She wasn't fucking a rookie. I don't know, but she was saying in her messages that she wanted a racist dog. Like, they read all her text messages. She was saying, talking shit about Martin Luther King, all mm. kind of shit. Mm. Like, this bitch ain't shit. That's and why she, she, that's just why she like walk. fucking black guys. And then the father was like, uh, uh, Botham's father was like, I want to be your friend. What the fuck that's is wrong with this these bitch people? Got. 
So I did read somewhere that they Haitian and that's like just voodoo. Mm. <laughs> like mm. even when he hugged him, like uh, that's a form of voodoo and she shit. Sprinkled something on that motherfucker. He needed some of her hair. He yes, was like, DNA. <laughs> <laughs> that's Good what the job. judge was doing. To, I mean, oh. the police. Remember the police was rubbing her hair and shit. Mm. She was just trying to gather some of that shit for the voodoo doll. Unless they know that something about to happen to her inside, they're like, hey, baby, listen, this is yeah. your last pet that you about to get because they about to fuck you up in there and I'm sure girls in there gonna fuck her up man I don't know cause look nothing happened to what's the nigga name that killed Trayvon oh I can't wait till somebody catch his ass what's that bitch ass nigga name Zimmerman Zimmerman Zimmerman. need to yo y'all need to put like put you know one of them needles you wanna pop a fucking uh, blister or something you put into the fucking fire you just put that shit in his fucking pee hole bro (laughs) 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 that's what you need bro all right, Joe. You're a psychopath. Okay, Savage News. So I seen this shit on the gram. I was crying. Talk to me. So a woman was caught after she used a fucking bag of meth as a hair bow. She got pulled over. She had the shit. It, it was like she wrapped a rubber band around it and made it look like it was a bow. And she <laughs> pinned the shit in her hair. I wonder how many times she actually look did that, that shit. shit. Oh, that's creative. <laughs> so she from Arkansas and um she's 38. Baby, that's kind of creative though. Like for you to do that, I could use you in some other type of company, some type of something that I have going on because that's very creative. We oh, can use okay. her. Right there she looked closer to the ages. She looked at 85 in that other picture. Yeah. I was like, "What the Listen, fuck?" Listen, that's filters and shit. You know how the motherfucker girls be putting filters on the fucking Instagram. Well, this doofy bitch went to jail over it. She had, what, five warrants out for her yeah, arrest? Yeah, go clean up a little bit. You'll be all right. Go clean up. I don't understand why she ain't put it in the middle of the ponytail. She should have put it in the hair. She could have made around. a bun and just, she was fucked up at yeah, that point. Yeah. She was like, I got it. I'm going to turn this shit into a ball. <laughs> she like, she like, it's going to take too long to go through my fucking hair. I'm just going to take it like this. You fucking, fucking idiot. But I actually like this girl. She got creative on trying to get past the cops and what? shit like that. What? She the truth. Well, like, what? this girl. Like, <laughs> how can we use her? Can we lose her somewhere on the Bully of the Beast? Like, Let me tell you do? something about drugs. Like, if they use the motherfucking power to get the drugs that they would to save the fucking world. Oh, come on. They would have a cure to some yes. shit. <laughs> this bitch. Yes. She can move a mountain. STDs that these motherfuckers can't get cured. She's funny. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Okay, so black excellence. Nice. I love this shit. What we got? I'm sorry. I'm still reading the story about the meth. This shit is funny. Yeah. She said... The cop told her she had this shit in her hair. She's like, are you serious? <laughs> Who put that there? I just came from the hairdresser. <laughs> she can blame it on the hairdresser, though. <laughs> the cop said, yes, you have a bow your hair made from a bag of meth. How did he know his bag of meth, though? Is it, do he meth gave it smell? to her. He sold it yeah, to her. Yeah, <laughs> undercover. You know how the cops be. It got to be undercover for somebody. You're not going to just go and be like, hey, miss, number one, you don't even look at girls here too much. You're like... Yeah, they don't want you to. So you like, got to fucking be easy, bro. For him to actually do that, maybe it was a woman cop. You sure it wasn't a woman cop who did that? I'm just, she took me out with the, are you serious, though? Are you serious? <laughs> Wait, I've been looking for that all day. That's how I sound when I'm getting caught. Who is this bitch in your phone? Who? What bitch? Are you serious? <laughs> a bitch in my phone? Are you serious? Come on. Okay. You just so made that up. Black excellence. So yeah. Tyler Perry opened his studio, his film studio in so Atlanta. So dope. Everybody and their fucking mother was there. It was 330 acres. Acres. Oh my gosh. I just left there. It's like when I say whatever you thinking, 10 times more. That's beautiful. Everybody like, was unbelievable. there. Unbelievable. Beyonce, Kelly, Obama's, um, Clinton. Obama's. There's a lot. I don't remember Oprah, everybody. Ghetto. Look, you was there. I, I was don't know. I literally there. And it was like, so fucking amazing like all these big rich like this all these fucking big rich black people like it was just just the whole place the screen i got videos too bow wow I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see Bow Wow. No, only because Bow Wow was saying he went on Instagram and basically was like, "Don't invite me to anything else." I was just chilling with Bill Clinton. 
Niggas is like, niggas ain't inviting you anywhere anyway. You I mean, you know crashed. what? It's prop. I've seen yeah. a lot of people there. You know what I'm saying? So it, I, I didn't see um, Bow Wow there. I didn't see him. But maybe it's possible he <laughs> remember, could have been there. Remember the jet when they put him in the picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friday <laughs> good. No, no. We should, put, we should have. Bow Wow challenge. We should definitely have something. <laughs> put Bow Wow on top of the, the, the fucking Tyler Perry screen shit. Um, because one, cause as soon as you pull up, it's like a big ass fucking screen. Fuck a 70 inch. We talking about a thousand inch TV. Like, yeah, yeah, it was unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? Something like the fucking. So uh, we gonna put Bow Wow face put on that, that motherfucker there. Like, he owned the motherfucking Tyler Perry. Why does studio. he do this to himself? Uh, you know, a little meat syndrome. Did I say that? I don't fucking know. How do you know? I his have no meat idea. Because it's like, <laughs> this is it's just like certain insane. times you, you shaking people's hands is like, and when a man hands only reach right here, he rubbed his dick on you, and you no, shook his no, hand. No, no, it's not that. How like, would you know his dick is small? It's like my, you know, when when a guy only could reach here on my hands. You know what I'm saying? Like you tricks in my hand is like, it's like tricks in my wrist. You know what I'm saying? Or a girl's hands. I know girls ain't got no meat, so I'm like, ah, right, pussy probably whack. But if I if I got a, a guy who hands only reach right here, God ain't have him grab no big meat and then his like he got to hold his meat like this. You got to be able to put your hand around your whole meat. You know what I'm saying? That's what God blesses with. So you see a man with like little ass hands, you be like, uh-oh, he's going to start some trouble. Because I think all the guys with little meat is murderers. What? Whenever you can't please a girl, your girl gets you upset. That's the only thing that get a man upset. I've seen men lose jobs, lose plenty of money on the block. I'm talking about packs. And they would still like be able to, as long as they still could be able to get pussy and their girl is around and she ain't acting up, this nigga peace. There's plenty of times I talked across the table from the dude, he lost money or whatever, we gonna work it out. But whenever, I could be with him and his girl yelling at him on the phone on some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? He all, he discombobulated. Wait, did I say that right? <laughs> He's kind of fucked up. That's a better word. And um, a girl would be the thing that fuck you up. So if you can't please your girl and she got something to say on you, that's worse than dude be like, yo, you, are you about to get fired. Dude be like, I don't give a fuck, I got weed and pussy. Let your girl sit there and be like, you can't get no pussy. Let your girl get upset at you. Maybe okay, your whole again. Life is over. How do you know that Bow Wow has a little dick? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't say that. All right, that. all right. I we're going to get into just, who's yeah. on drugs? <laughs> you. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing you said for the past five minutes. All I could think about was Bow Wow got a little meat. Before we get into who's on drugs, man, L'Oreal, I really nutted early. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't want to hear I, about that. Oh, well, you got to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel bad. So it's like every time this girl call, I'm like, I don't even let the phone fucking ring twice now. Oh, like Lord. if she even asked me for something, I'm like, I'm going to give it to her plus send flowers. Like whenever I nut early is a fucking problem. And I ain't got time for that. So so you send a lot of flowers. <laughs> no, not lately. I've been taking the fucking blue chew, but I forgot the fucking blue chew this time. Oh my god, everyone is talking about blue chew. Yes. Lately. Oh my gosh. And um, they're getting it from us though. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably why they always in the DMs and stuff like that. But I, I, I went over there to the girl house. I thought I was the man. I was like, man, I don't need no motherfucking blue chew. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man. And I went over there and nutted early. I did leg day that day. But and then you know, now that I got the motherfucking blue chews, I went over there. To another girl house, I cheated just to try what? to. Re- I had to redeem myself. You can't, you can't just have no fucking whack sex in the rest. Of, until, until you have good sex again, your mind fucked that up. That doesn't make sense. You told me the second night was no, longer. I, she wouldn't even give me the second night. That's uh, how bad I fucked up. I, I gave her like thirty seconds, and I woke her up. I woke and you her, had blue chew on you, and you ain't. I, did, I left the blue chew, so oh, I had to okay, redeem right, myself. So I right. went to the next chick, popped that blue chew. Man, my my meat still hard. I just did this. It all just happened. That's why. I, That's I got to too the much early. info. I'm sorry, but guess what? The blue chew got nine hour meat. I'm happy as hell. I'm sure if I need to go for another round after the show, I'm gonna go for another round because I got nine hour meat. So it's a definitely that means it's marinated nine hour meat. Yes, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I ain't. Got, I'm, I right now. I could go ahead and do a second round if I want to. Okay. And um, it, it was nice and easy. I just chewed it. It was a chewable. I mean, it's better than if I, I took Viagra like years ago and Cialis. It's way better than that. Like you don't get no side effects or nothing. And when it came to my door, it was like it was a discreet package. Nobody even fucking knew it was like a fucking. So it wasn't a package or like a hard dick on it. No hell, no. it was like a white package. It looked like a a mail that came in, like something very important. Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying and something that nobody never want to touch. I don't want to touch nobody important mail. You know oh, what I'm saying? Really? Something that looks like it's coming from court. Don't want to do that. 
Oh, you know it's been a UPS guy. Early. They steal <laughs> everything. Yo, I can't. They, they, we got so many coming on. Y'all got to make sure y'all don't even tell the UPS guys what that is because Blue Chew is so good. They're going to try to steal that shit. Really? Hell yeah. If you know you can fucking make your girl shut up because after you give a girl good sex, she can't say shit to you. Oh, Lord. Shit changes. Go ahead. So, guess Where what? Where can they get it? How do they and get we're it? We're about to go get it right now. I want y'all to go to... Um, Oh uh, no! Visit uh, bluechew.com and get your first shipment free when you uh, put in the promo code bully, and 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 you get the um off your first one you get your five dollars off. You know what I'm saying for the shipment, so that's kind of dope. And um you know again go to bluechew.com and put the promo code in bully and get your shit free. I'm glad you're not as about blue at least. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Never know. Um. So yeah, we're gonna get into who's on drugs, yes. and we want to talk about what the fuck are we talking about today? I'm going to say the current person that you're with right now. Okay. Not like whatever. Say they got sick. Mm-hmm. What would you do? The current person you're dating. So this, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I ain't been there long enough. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? Um, Disappear. Damn. I suck. I mean, it, like I said, it all depends on like, we ain't put them vows to God now. Now, if I put them vows to you with God, I I have to be there. I'm I'm obligated. Is that the word? All right. Um, I'm whatever that word is. I'm supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? Because we put our vows to God and stuff. This guy is just over here. She don't lay away. Come on. If I know if I'm about to go finally go pick up my package from the store and somebody actually was tampered with, and I'm like, if you don't have a brand new one for me, I'm not taking this shit home. I know so what I'm if you was, What if you got sick? Um, I'm going to die soon. So, baby... Go find the next guy you want to be with. Who said you were dying? Just because you're sick doesn't mean you're going to die. Some people just have like something that changes their life, like going blind, right? That doesn't mean you're going to die. I, I hear you, but she sounds kind of sick. Like she didn't She didn't sound like just blind. I know has, blind she people. She has something similar to MS so where it is like, now, I is believe it attacks the nervous system okay. or something like that. I don't want to be, I'm not a doctor and I, I don't, don't want to put that, that, I don't want to put that on me. multiple sclerosis. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to put that on nobody, though. Like, if something really, really is to happen to me and I'm, like, really fucked up, I'm not going to look at my baby like, you're cheating on me? Uh, duh. <laughs> the fuck? Listen, I have problems now and I'm really healthy. Sometimes I nut early. My girl, my shorties be trying to get the fuck out of there. Like, yo, I'm pissed. What the fuck is that? So like, I nigga, don't you know me up for that dumb shit? I don't know what she said she had particularly, but it says, uh... Vision loss, pain, fatigue, impaired coordination... She's falling and shit. Uh, it says it, it varies from person to person. You can be symptom free for most of your life, and then some people have chronic sen- symptoms that never go away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel sorry for the situation. It um, said it can um, occur pain in the back. Wait, it can occur back due to head nods, eye movement, tremors, muscular. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like attacks the nervous system stuff, dizzy. Fatigue, all kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. No, I get it. Again. Mood get... swings, anxiety. Yeah, nobody got time for that shit. Nobody got time for that stupid shit at Difficulty all. Difficulty speaking and slurred speech. Who's on drugs? Early. Oh, what's the number? 347-679-6118. Holla at us, man. Nah, but for real, though, if I'm fucked up, my baby could go. Like, if I really get in a bad accident and it's like my leg got to come off or something, I can't expect my baby to stay with me if we ain't married. <laughs> So fuck, people get cheated on all the day for fucking being in love. You got to have a little bit more than love when it comes down to like one of the reasons why you was in love with this person, maybe because they were so beautiful or maybe because they could do certain things. Like some people fall in love with that walk. I'd be like, damn, my baby walk is like dope. You know what I'm saying? When she walks to the bathroom. So you know now I mean? she don't got no legs. So no, you, you know what I'm her. saying? I can't fuck with that shit. Right, you, know, you know what I always say? Real fast. You know what I always say? No. I say after sex, as soon as you nut, that walk to the bathroom, that girl walk to the bathroom, it seals the deal. <laughs> so she got this nasty ass, corny so ass like walk. If she walked to the bathroom or if she run for the door, that's how you know like it, no. it was good or not. It's just like when I look over at her and she got that like, nice ass and like the shit is just so like still look good. Because as soon as we nut, you don't look as good as no more. Like I see the fucking chip now. I see the fucking, I smell something. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is gone. That's how yes. they feel about you too. Maybe. Loser. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs?
Bye. Who's on drugs? I'm well. How are you? Lessons. Where are you from? What's your name? Um, I'm from Jersey. My name is Kay. Jersey. What's up? What part of Jersey? New Brunswick. Oh, Remsen, not Jeff Park. No, that's, that is my part. Remsen Nav, Townsend Nav. My mom. How my, is that Jeff Park? All because of Because my grandma been living on Remsen Avenue for my basically last couple of he years. He always trying to claim a part of Jersey that is not claiming. Miss Lady, you know what Remsen Avenue is. Yours, man. Yes, ma'am. Thank oh you. I God. That. You need some advice, or you want to so, talk about the question? What's up? The question, because I'm not taking care of nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I not. Like, that's an extra bill. Yeah. No. What if they I'm, got money? I'm, what if, like, what if they got money already? Take care of them all. Well, y'all said the person I'm with now is, he ain't got no money. Oh, uh, uh, so yeah, yeah. Currently with, yeah. Broke her. No, if they got money, I'll stay. And so why, so why are you there? The because will, of the penis? Why are you still there right now? Because of the penis of the nigga well, broke right now? First of all, I'm gay. Oh. So, so it's the bitch. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I kind of tried to break up with her a few times now, and she won't break up back. <laughs> Let me tell that you something. Not that is the worst when you're trying to break up with somebody and they don't fucking get it, and you still end up in a relationship with them for years. After. Yes, years. <laughs> yeah, years. I'm still in a relationship with people right now. I, I talk to a man. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I done tried to break you up with y'all. Oh, oh, even worse. Yeah. You a sucker. Yeah, but the, like the lease is in my name, so it's just like I keep saying you can go, and she'll be like, I, I can't wait pussy. to see you when I get home, and I don't get it. She can't wait what? to eat that pussy. Stop letting her eat your pussy. Shit. I mean, anybody can do that. I don't want her to do that. I want her to go. So when last time she ate your pussy? I mean, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, she, she can still you, leave after. Yeah, so you so you give him mixed sig- signals. You know what I'm saying she, that's what she loved to do. So she's gonna stick around to see if she could do it again. You got it. You got to cut that out. You know what I'm saying? Or do something to make I her motherfucker sick. Evict her ass. Just pack her shit and just be like, uh, "This is not working." And I packed your stuff for you, nice and neat. And your bags are by the door. Or, Bye. Tell, you, or tell you like dick. Or get caught fucking. Oh, dude, that always work. What? Uh, I would no, definitely be like, I don't want to oh. be gay anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I had a revelation. I went to church with my mom, and um, yeah, the Lord, and, the, and Lord the Lord don't, Lord like, don't this. like this. I didn't know the Lord didn't like. You got to move. Because, <laughs> We're sinning. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. You know, like I've tried to break up with her, and like I'll leave the house for a couple days to go to my best friend's house and she'll find me. Like, I'll go to a bar and somehow she finds me at the bar. Find but she's you. nuts. Well, you you know what you need to stop doing? Oh. Stop stop eating pineapples. All right? <laughs> if you stop eating pineapples, you want to be so fucking sweet. And she make put some, it's fucking smoke cigarettes. And I guarantee your pussy going to fucking taste a little dry and nasty. Yeah. And she'll never want to be with you again. I, no. Stop, <laughs> stop fucking she still her. Won't. <laughs> I did like three months ago, and she still won't leave. Oh, you you ain't get your pussy ate from her in like three I, months. No, I haven't touched her. All right. Oh my gosh, so who she are you doesn't touching? have nowhere to go. So who are you touching in three months? I know you ain't getting she nothing. Has, no, I'm I'm fine. Okay. I have all my little toys, so I can handle that. Respect. It's just I don't want her to touch me. Do you, <laughs> do you think does right. she have somewhere to move? Yes, like she has two places she can go, and I've even called her people and been like, "Why don't y'all come get her stuff?" And they won't. <laughs> no one is working. They don't me. want her either. What did I tell you to do? Pack that <laughs> shit the fuck yeah. up. Drop yeah. it off at one of those locations and change your locks. Or or put doodle inside of her suitcases. Don't listen to wax. <laughs> what? You got to get rid of no. her. It's, it, listen, it's all so many ways to skin a cat. This one right here, put a dead head <laughs> cat in the motherfucker. Oh, a mice. I think the dick thing is good. Just be like, I want some dick and like you don't have it for real. All right. Um, I mean, I can try, but she's <laughs> one of those people that I'll be like, well, let's get it together. Oh my God, uh, bitch, go uh, away. Uh, she's kind of perfect. Where's she at? Does she look good? How her toes look? Yeah, she let me get away with that shit. You fucking lucky motherfucker. You complaining? <laughs> you complaining? You got that shit? I don't want to think so. Like, I just don't want her. I can, how does she look? Like, is she trash? Is she yeah, the butch? Is I she just, the butch? Is she the sexy? No, one? she's beautiful. 
she just has a really bad attitude. Like I've had to pepper spray her and what? all types of stuff, and she's still. Listen, you, you don't yeah. even realize you're in a marriage. You don't even realize that. No, that's not marriage pepper spraying. Bullshit. You hear this nigga? She's not married. And I ain't here to take that, take that either. So I don't know what the fuck she talking about. Um, damn, this is juicy though. <laughs> I like this. How juicy is your pussy? Oh Lord, I knew that was coming. I don't even you know said why I used juicy. That word. I don't know why I used it. Oh. All right, Ness. You know what? We're sorry. You kind of like kind of call the cops on her. And then, and then act like you don't know why the cops at the door and wink at them like you're like something's happening, like you're getting kidnapped or something. They're gonna take her. And after they, after they keep on doing that, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a situation like that, you really got to be like, listen, I know that we've been going back and forth about this, but you really got to get the fuck out. And like, I'm not joking no more. I get, you cool and all, but you can't live here no more. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the uh, fuck up out of here. You just don't feel good. This, this, don't worry no, about it. No, I feel great, bitch. You should Move. lay down. No, just go lay down. Move, bitch. Get out the way because you stopping my other pussy flow. Get, yeah, get mad at her for she taking all the fucking tampons. Like, get mad at her for this dumb shit. Like, you left the fucking toilet seat up. You took all my tampons. Why would the toilet seat be up? Uh. Yeah. She got a strap on. So she pees out of her strap on, right? Yeah. Wax. Yeah. Yeah. I'm are, sorry. Are you the butch? Goodbye. Are you, do you keep the strap on all the whole time? I don't even want to hear him no more. <laughs> Can you take wax with okay. you? <laughs> Bye. Thanks for calling. This is Bye. Bye. Take wax this. with you, please. <laughs> Take that, take that strap on off. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you got to say the toilet seat is up because she has a strap on. Amazing. No, it's not, actually. Who's on drugs? Yo, it's Jones from PA. Peace. What's good with your family? You got some advice or you want to... Hold on. You got to repeat the topic, but the last part, that shit was a classic. Who the fuck just had a strap on wax? <laughs> I don't like, know nothing. Just a fucking dummy. All right. Uh, the, the thing is, like, say if you're shorty getting in a car accident, she get fucked up like a disease or sick or something, would you stay with her? The current person you with now? Uh, Good job, Wax. Well, know. it depends on... I'm impressed. Well, no, it, it, it depends on what was going on before. Now, of course, the humanitarian way is, yeah, stay with her, help her get back on her feet. I don't know what the hell that means. But after she Who's back that? on her feet... Look, look, look. But after she back on her feet, if she wasn't doing shit before that, fuck out of here. You good now, mom out. Yeah. I hear that. Y'all some wicked motherfuckers. Now, ain't, no, this is, again, you got to make sure. Now, if I get with you in a relationship, we first, like, about to get in a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, and I see you, and we get a vows because of your father or, or a priest come to us and be like, you know what, y'all together, and you got to stay there, and I sit there and say yes to all those vows. Yes, that's cool. So, but. but what are you doing with a person that you don't feel like that about in the first place? Because with me, maybe this is just me, but like, I don't even want to date somebody for because real. Because like, I'm not like, take like, like the last shorty who who was just on, she said her ex didn't move out. They only in it for financial. Okay. Right. Is that, that is that what your so situation is? No, nah, but she said that they got other oh. places to stay and shit like the that. The girl do, yeah. So it don't have nothing to do with money. She just can't get her out. So that's they different do. to Either me. She's fine with it. But if she really wanted somebody out of her place, it's stuff you could take to that. Like so, let me tell you something motherfuckers like be like living with each other for their whole entire life because they can't get motherfuckers yes. out their house. Trust and believe. Right. It happens. Mm-hmm. But we got to, how do you do it? I though? know two old motherfuckers that's like in their 60s that hate each other and still live in the same yes. house. Because they, neither one of them want to leave that motherfucking house. Yes. Wake up early in the morning, fuck you. Yeah. Where is that? And you act like that person don't even exist. And like, y'all just like roommates at that point. That sucks, but what happened with Because sex? they too comfortable, yo. Somebody got to step outside their comfort zone. Yeah, that bitch is comfortable, and the one who house it really is ain't comfortable. She ain't smart, but bro, what what would make right. you? What would she get right now? Your current girl that you, she would get, and you would sit there and stay. Like, say if she get in a car accident, you can't leave, bro. All right, right, of course. All right, so what else? You what can't else? leave right then and there. You don't need some help. All so right. you gonna wait till she's after, functioning? After everything is okay, listen. <laughs> You gonna do the same shit she was before? <laughs> like, 
Look, she she was codependent. Now she's even more codependent. Like, and it's just gonna keep getting like that. Like, mm -hmm. if you wasn't happy before, don't think a tragedy is gonna turn your life around. Like, Facts. yes, it's gonna be even worse. Even worse. Yeah. And now you fell stuck with the motherfucker, yeah. so you're gonna be miserable yeah, on top man. of it. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't married for the rest of your fucking. For the, for the rest of your fucking life, you're gonna feel miserable if you weren't put on this earth to serve. It's as simple as that. Okay. Yes, you gotta have a certain heart for that because I'll be looking at my mom certain times like, Mom, what are you doing? It's like, ah, oh, shut up. Help That's me. That's a different huh? relationship. Yeah, she make me help him. That is a different relationship. <laughs> you can't compare that. You can't compare that. All right. No. Uh, okay. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Unless you got something else. It's back, yo, T. Daddy. Yo, T. Diddy, don't uh, don't. Yeah, she's don't, definitely uh, waving a finger like, bro, this nigga ain't got shit. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> finally some order in this motherfucker. <laughs> like, we try to wrap up the call. Here, go wax. Unless you got something else. No, nigga, we want to talk to more people. All right, so word. keep your shit short, whoever right. on the line. And this is how it's going to be. You either going to ask for advice, you're going to weigh in on the question, and you're going to keep it moving. Ain't going to be both. Yes, keep it by it while me. Be, you, we don't care if you got to say something about the next person's situation unless it's something good. Don't fucking say nothing about the last person shit unless you got something interesting. All right, but this is kind of short, though, like, the question that we're asking is like after they finish and give it, unless they got like a um, example to give us, like they no, going, going we that's it. what I'm saying. We want to hear it, but don't be like, all right, and then I have this to talk about, and the last person that called it, no, nah, no, 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 talk about your this your time to shine, mm. co-host. Word up, because I'm I'm late and we ain't got all that, all that time. Yeah, so you go. were late, and I wasn't gonna say nothing about it, but yeah, I it definitely was. I, I get it. beyond late, nigga. Yes, ma'am. Next next call, because I'm gonna slap the shit out of him. I was trying to hold back. <laughs> But since he mentioned it. Who's on drugs? I'm making rain on him. You got dollars? Hey, who's on drugs? <laughs> who's on drugs? What's good, brother? Hey, hey it's, dead. it's your boy, Mr. Sky Dice, calling in. Sky Dice, what's up? You got you got a speakerphone or something? Um, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Um, I'm, I need I need a vice, though. Talk to us. I need a vice, though. Okay. All right. All right, so I moved to Atlanta, like, three years ago and like I'm trying to look for a sugar mama and shoot it's kind of hard out here just looking for sugar mamas out here so I'm really gonna get a sugar like, daddy bro you sure you <laughs> <laughs> You in the wrong place looking for a sugar mama. That's not true. No, it's not. You know what? It's not true because you would definitely get one out there. Nah, nah, women because, in there. because the ratio, the ratio is like 10 to 1 out here. Respect. So it's like more bitches for me. So at the end of the day, and it's hella girls out here that make mad bread. They don't and they're very, bread. very beautiful. It's 10 to 1, but 7 to <laughs> 1 are strippers. <laughs> so they want money from your yeah, ass. Like, and yes. the other two is nah, on their verge of dying. Yeah. Because you go there to retire so, as well. Like, I'm, I'm trying to look for like a sugar mama and shit. So like, right, so I mean, where you super there. I put the food flame and all that. So, but nah, they, that's they, they, they don't want money. That's, 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 yeah, that's not the way to go. That's the place you don't want to go. Go to church. Go to the grocery store. Go to church. Yeah, go to the church. Go, 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 go to the grocery church. store. She, oh, already, she already cooking for somebody else. Go go to the church. Um, and she the, could be cooking for you next. She liked to cook. And now you're going to eat and get money. She already, she already got this nigga. What if she cooked it for herself? <laughs> Look, who girls out not in Atlanta? These motherfuckers out after that money. They ain't cooking for themselves. I know some girls that live in Atlanta that's cooking for themselves. And they ain't got no boyfriend that's fucking a guy. Yeah. I know. I can think of one girl in particular that she definitely got her shit going on. She don't have a boyfriend no more. She was with him for a little bit. Like a good minute and they not together no more. She, she got money. Out, yeah, she found out he was fucking a guy. No. Oh. Well, maybe he was. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 Wrong. Yeah. With sugar mamas, only you got really do is you pull your meat out, and they can decide. <laughs> because with I a mean, sugar mama, yeah, you got to be like a like car. Like Thirty-five and plus, like I don't know, like I'm just shit. Thirty-five is old for a sugar mama. Just, she's still a good dick, bro. <laughs> <I don't know laughs> yeah. like He's tripping. How he must be young? How old? How old are you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. You 28 should know better. Twenty-eight is not that. That you should know young. that 35 year old girls is still bad out this motherfucker. Yeah, what the fuck fucked. is wrong with you? They still get fucked. I mean, they still bad, but they, they, 
They don't be having niggas. Half the niggas out here gay anyway, so shit. I know Madama doesn't. Respect. He need to find him like an NFL player's wife. Cause always on the like, road. Yeah, yeah. pilots. Like that. yeah. Yo, the last the last one I had was a pilot's <laughs> wife. Try try to go to the uh, yeah, go go find a pilot's a wife. Pilot's and don't wife. forget about the church, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they trying to be nice. I don't know about the church girls, man. They be talking to Lala. They give it all their money to the, to God. <laughs> so they not gonna give it to him. Yeah, yeah but they, could, they could that collection right. plate come around like five times during service, <laughs> especially in Atlanta. That's a church state. So I can't yeah. wait to be a pastor. <laughs> yeah, you ain't shit. I can't wait, and you not know. for the money. Cause I, yes, I it love. is because you said it after the collection plate comment. In Jesus' name, you fucking thief. All right, brother, we gotta okay. get out of here. Change your approach. Pull your meat out. Just know when the girls want you, you gotta present yourself to be like a shiny car on a lot. So pull your meat right, out. Right, because you trying to be the bitch, and you always call a car bitches car. Yeah, so he got to change so his shit around. he got to be a car. Yeah, pull your meat out. They want they want to see under the hood. They want to see it. Make sure the tire pressure and all that shit is good. I'm, I'm no bubble. That. Like, I'm always good in that part, but it's just, you know, I'm just trying to have to spend the bread on a nigga. You, probably, you sound like, like you going to fall in love with yeah, the bitch and shit. What the fuck you even like, do for a living that you need money like that in yeah. Atlanta? Atlanta kind of cheap. I just left there. I had an $8 dollar Go get a get job, it. nigga. What the fuck? I'm trying to take trips. Bro, it's cheap I'm as hell. But what do you do for a living? That's all it is. Nothing. Nah, I work in the medical field. I'm straight. Then what the fuck you want that bitch I'm money good. for? <laughs> you better find you a doctor. No, go on a nursing home, dude. I got something for you. Go on a nursing home. They got free checks that come all the time. <laughs> Early. I thought you hung up on him. He's still laughing. Peace, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> See, Diddy, I, we discussed this. I can't believe you. Today she wilding. Who's on drugs? Nah, we out of here. So we gonna um we gonna get out of here. Bully and the Beast podcast. Yeah. Thank y'all for listening. Make yep. sure y'all continue to rate, review, subscribe. Yes, all and that good um shit. and all that good stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm-hmm. Bully and the Beast podcast. Early. We out of here. Peace. Bye. 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 We out of here. Peace.